More than three months after he resigned from office, the truth is finally coming out about disgraced former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. A 46-page report, very damning one by the New York State Assembly Judiciary Committee, was released on Monday, and it found overwhelming evidence that Cuomo engaged in sexual harassment and also used state workers to write, publish, and produce his memoir, a likely violation of state ethics laws. Now lawmakers in Albany are sparring over whether or not to impeach Cuomo, with much of the debate focused on whether the legislature has the constitutional authority to remove someone who has already left office. Here with reaction, New York City Council Member Joe Borelli. Joe, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you too, Buck, thank you. Can you explain that last part first, actually, that there's a discussion about impeaching, even though he's resigned? Is that just to kind of send a message? What's going on here? Yeah, I mean, it, it is left to be determined whether a New York state officer, uh, public officer, can be impeached by the state assembly after they're uh, out of office. Uh, and it is one of those legal questions that would probably be more suitable for for Harvard Law School, uh, a classroom in Harvard Law School, than an actual debate in the assembly. But when you have someone like Andrew Cuomo, who had to resign uh, in shame for all of the things that came out about him, yeah, now we're actually having this conversation in practice. And Joe, what was in this report? I mean, this report that's damning, he already had left office. So for a lot of folks that probably think, don't we already know everything? Apparently we didn't know everything. Well, tell us about the sexual harassment report on Cuomo. Well, don't forget, some of the things uh, that are parts of the criminal investigation uh, are potential witnesses, uh, potential grand jury testimony, things like that would not be made public. Uh, the state assembly is a public uh, uh, organization. It, it's a publicly uh, you know, visible organization. So documents there are made public. And this is one of those things that has been released fully. So the state assembly hired a, a team of lawyers, investigative lawyers, to do basically the same work as the attorney general and other criminal prosecutors and they uncovered a host of evidence. Uh, some of it is, is really, really, really uh, disturbing, especially someone like me who's a public officer. I mean, look, Buck, I'm in my office right now. If I use the, the city's Wi-Fi right now to send a, a campaign email or to make a stock trade, I, I'm potentially criminally liable. However, if you're Andrew Cuomo, you can get a $5.6 million book deal, make policy based on whatever, you know, turns the pages, I guess, whatever sells the most books, uh, and, and cover up your failures from the public. And all this is set during the backdrop of the, the, the most bona fide crisis we've had since 9-11. I mean, there's no question that COVID was a significant crisis the Cuomo administration had to face. And now we're finding out that people like, you know, Janice Dean, people like Ron Kim, people like me, people like so many others who are calling out this man for being a hypocritically, fundamentally bad human being this whole time were actually 100% right. The, the assembly report shows us that there is no saving grace when it comes to Andrew Cuomo, whether it's his book deal, whether it's his, um, his sexual harassment, and whether it's all these other uh, swirling uh, allegations that surround him. Do you think there's any chance that Cuomo thinks he has a political future going forward, or is this guy done? No, he's a sociopath, Buck, so he's weighing his chances on running for uh, attorney general. Our, our current attorney general has said she's going to run for governor, uh, and that's her right. Uh, and there's an opening there, and there's about 11 or 12 people that are interested in it. So he's doing the math and realizing that he could probably still get 20 percent of registered Democrats uh, to vote for him uh, in spite of his allegations, his, his really corroborated allegations that he sexually harassed his own staff, covered it up, covered up nursing home deaths, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the, the book I mean, the list goes on and on.